Hey, welcome to 1500 ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore. This is Andrew Kramer. We're out at Winter Park where the first round of the NFL draft just completed. The Vikings, if you haven't heard, wound up with Michigan State cornerback Trey Waynes at pick number 11. Uh, there's some more big news on the day, too. They still have Adrian Peterson on the roster. We'll get into all of that uh, in this video. Andrew, uh, first, let's get to the pick because I think there was a lot of talk about whether the Vikings might consider moving back or looking at other positions. Um, Trey Waynes, though, what do you think of the pick? Well, I wasn't surprised by it. I think it's a situation where they had this cornerback high on their draft board, and they didn't want to trade back because they were worried about maybe losing him. And Rick Spielman talked about how they got a lot of trade yeah. offers for the number 11 pick, and it was surprising that there weren't any top 10 trades going on in those first 10 picks. Yeah. So I thought the trade suitors would be plentiful when it comes to that, but he said that he just didn't see the value for ditching Trey Waynes just to move back and collect more picks, so they still sit with six. Yeah. But when we spoke, when we spoke with uh, Coach Mike Zimmer and General Manager Rick Spielman, they would not say this guy as a day one starter. Uh, they were trying to make him earn it. If you remember with Anthony Barr mm -hmm. last year, they said he's our starter. They, yeah. they didn't mince words with him. So with Trey Waynes now, you have to wonder, okay, they're putting the onus on him. He has to earn his spot. And I think it's obvious, though, that they, they brought him in for size. They brought him in to help in the press man scheme. And this guy should be the number one starter in week one. Yeah, and certainly. Number two starter with Xavier Rhodes. Right, still Xavier starting probably on that left mm -hmm. side. Yep. But you also wonder, like, maybe eventually – even if he's not a week one starter, that's kind of the, the, the defensive backfield that they envision. Yes, course. very much so. And if you actually look at their offseason plan, they, they had no size last year when it comes right. to corners. Xavier Rhodes is their only guy taller than six feet. This year, they've already added three guys taller than six feet. They added two Canadian Football League players that mm -hmm. were over six foot and Demarcus Van Dyke and Jaleel Carter. Both of those guys are under the radar, but Trey Waynes is anything but under the radar. Yeah. I think he should come in there and be the guy that you pencil in as the starter. They added Terrence Newman on a one-year, two and a half million dollar deal, but he's 36 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I would, I don't envision him starting right away unless Trey Waynes does not come along as quickly as they sure. want. Mike Zimmer said when asked about what does he do for your scheme, he said he he allows more flexibility, but it's going to depend on how quickly he latches onto the NFL game. Right, and we'll talk about this more mm -hmm. on the Purple Podcast certainly, but this probably pushes Captain Munnerlyn back to just exclusively a nickel. Yeah back probably yep. mostly a slot guy josh robinson then becomes depth if it all works according to plan yes. which of course is always a big if in the nfl uh, andrew the other big story of the day obviously is kind of the non-story of the day we thought we might see a peterson trade today there's talk about that um Nothing materialized, of course. No, no, not at all. And I think when you went and saw Arizona make their first round pick, you saw Dallas make their first round pick. Those just came off the board and you realize, yeah. well, something's probably not going to happen today, especially that late into the 20s. But you see Adrian Peterson still on this roster. General manager Rick Spielman did not want to waste any time when he was asked about that yeah. after the number 11 overall pick. And this is with 20 picks left in the first round. He said, nothing has changed. I have, I'm not going to talk about calls. I'm not going to discuss that at all. He was adamant. And that's where we sit right now. But if yeah. we're looking toward the future, future and tomorrow with the second and third rounds something can still be worked out here i wouldn't rule it out but i know people are sick of this story and right. it's it's clear he's still on the roster well and he said end of story too i thought that he was, did he was yeah, trying to he, be pretty emphatic yep. emphatic by uh quashing that story as soon as the peterson line came up he said nothing's changed end of story he yeah. kind of tried to and, redirect the question if we're digging into this deeper they they don't need to move him financial wise no? uh, this is a situation where two peterson is not the volatile personality that a percy harvin was they do not need to worry i don't i don't think they need to worry about him being a distraction if they brought him back so even if he didn't want to be here i think there's a point to where he would warm up to it realizing this is the only place he can play football finally were you surprised that the vikings didn't try to accumulate more picks i know rick spielman in the past has had 10 for, uh, draft selections and he's oftentimes just moved back or, or swung some kind of a trade to try and accumulate those assets. Were you surprised to see that they didn't add that? I was surprised to see that they valued Trey Waynes as high as they did to not trade back. We don't know the offers, obviously. We don't know what they turned down. But he but said that they did. They were getting called, yes, right? For yes, pick. they just they valued Trey Waynes more than what they sure. were offered to get. And I think that was a surprising part because I thought this was a relatively deep cornerback class, but clearly they had Trey Waynes high enough on their draft board, higher than any other pick could have sufficed. Again, we don't know where they were get, uh, targeted to trade back. It could have been sure. later, and they could have thought, well, we wouldn't get any corners we like past that. I think they had a clear need to big, to get a big corner, a six-foot Trey Waynes, and yeah. they got him. Good stuff. Uh, we'll talk about this plenty more on the Purple Podcast, so check that out, SoundCloud or iTunes. So you can subscribe there. Uh, that'll do it for this video, though. For Andrew Kramer, I'm Derek Wetmore. We'll check back with you tomorrow after uh, we meet and are introduced to Trey Waynes. We'll have plenty more on 1500ESPN.com, so keep checking back for all your Vikings coverage. Thanks for watching this video.